One of my favorite topics, which is acid, acid and alkaline, or you can say alkaline. I like to say alkaline because it sounds so much more impressive, but it's basically the same way to say the word. Now, everyone today talks about acid and alkaline. Now, if you haven't heard about acid and alkaline, then don't worry because you're about to, but this is the buzzword. Everyone comes to my clinic now and says, Will, I want to be alkaline. I want to be healthy. Now, the big mistake most people make is they confuse alkaline with being healthy. Now... Being al alkaline means you're healthier, but acid and alkaline does not being, being, mean being unhealthy or healthy. It means uh, it's the study of what's called pH, little p, big H. Now, what this stands for is the power of hydrogen. Acid and alkaline, we're really talking about an electrical charge only, an electrical charge only. And this, this electrical charge is really a reflection of energy. What does that mean? You've lost me. Well, energy, I don't know, I just want to be healthy. Acid, th things that are acid have more of a positive charge. Now, normally that would be good, don't we associate being positive with having better things and being healthier? But in this case, in this case it isn't. It's switched. Alkaline has a negative charge. Now, negative charge, you may have heard of electricity, electrical current, electrons, which have a negative charge in the atom moving through. When al something's alkaline, it's saturated with electrons. Now, when it's saturated with electrons, it means there's a lot more electrical energy in there. Now, you may have heard of people super alkalizing or hyper alkalizing the, the tissues. People ask me, what's the healthiest diet? And when they, or they say, what's the, what's the most alkaline diet? And what they really ask me is, what the, what's the healthiest diet? When something, a food or drink is, is alkaline, it's high in electrons. Now, the foods that are the highest in electrons or the most energy-giving are normally greens, wheatgrass, barley grass, alfalfa, leaf, cayenne pepper uh, are probably the four strongest that I know. I actually sell a, to make it easy for people, I just took a powder and put all four in there. Uh, what a go. And um, when something's more acid, it is, it is energy-depriving. Now, I want to tell you why you're sick and tired. If you've had a soft drink today or in the last week or the last month, let me explain something to you. I want you to kind of just picture this or get a feel for it in your body. Acid and alkaline works on a scale. It runs from zero being most acid to 14 being most alkaline. Seven is neutral. Now bear with me. If something has a pH of seven, it's neutral. If something has a pH of eight, it's alkaline. Nine, it's alkaline right through to 14. Likewise, if it's below seven, if it's got a pH of six or five or four, then the, then the pH is acid. You following me so far? Now, say I want to have something alkaline because it's full of electrons that'll give me more energy. This scale is what's called a logarithmic scale. Logarithmic means that every time you go up by an increment of one, you have to multiply it by 10. Let me give you an example so you know exactly what I'm talking about. Seven is neutral. Eight is 10 times more alkaline. So eight is 10. Nine is 100 times more alkaline because we're multiplying by 10 with every increment, which is to add a zero, if you follow me. pH of 10 is 1,000 times more alkaline. pH of 11 is 10,000 times more alkaline, and so on. Now, I'm going to tell you where the average soft drink lies, about 2.2. So say you've had your Coca-Cola, your Fanta, your Sprite, and last week you've had a coffee, you've had whatever it is. Let's, let's go down to two and let me tell you how, how energy, it's not three or four times more energy depriving and why you're heading to the road of getting sick. Six, six is t 10 times more acid. Five is 100 times more acid. Four is 1,000 times more acid. Three is 10,000 times more acid. Two is 100,000 times more acid than neutral water. That's your Coca-Cola, that's your fan, and that's your life. If you're male or female and often we often i often talk like this to women in the clinic so i know that they're very conscious of how beautiful they feel in anti-aging if you put if you're putting something a hundred thousand times more uh, more acid through your kidneys can you imagine what that's doing to your skin can you imagine what that's doing to your skin that we call the third kidney and if you really 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 want to look physically attractive and you want the secret you need to step out of the majority and look at what the culture is doing and do the opposite. And this is the the one percent, and the one percent of people know these secrets. They know their eyeball is what they've breathed, put on their skin, eaten and drink, eaten and drunk. And most people go out and try and convert their friends, and it just doesn't work. It's good to take people with you, but you need to go the way first. Now, 
in other parts, we're going to go more in depth. But in basic alkalizing, what you eat, what you breathe, what you drink, what you put on your skin needs to be in a way that gives you energy. And once you get through that first detox, you're going to have 100 times the energy of the average population. Also, uh, if you choose to get the CD program that we produce, you'll also have some strategies there on how you can sleep three to five hours a night because your body needs so much less energy. And these are really in the minority of the last couple of hundred years of natural health. But people do know this, but we are not culturally conditioned to accept it. And most of our peer group does not follow it.